Calc 6 has a number of new features for editing insulators. And we're going to break those out as a separate short video here, only because they're fairly interesting and they're things people have been asking for for a long time. If I uh, look at a little poll here. One of the things that I can do that used to be difficult is easily transition a pole or an insulator and all of its children to a different position on the same structure. So I can say I want to move it like that or copy it, which we always used to be able to do. I'm going to go ahead and undo that. Or actually move it to a different child, or move the child to a different parent. So if I take this insulator and I say, move here, what it will do is take it off the cross arm, make a child of the pole, transfer the span, keep the original uh, orientation so it understands that its real world absolute rotation was, oh, I don't know, what's this, probably 180 degrees? Nope, zero degrees. And it went and transferred that, and I could have done that, or I could have copied it just as easily, like that. And so, doing something like converting horizontal construction to vertical construction is as simple as one, two, three, four, and I've converted horizontal construction to vertical. And we can go back one two, three, four. Another thing that we have that uh, is a great improvement over the old system is that we can maintain connectivity by adding jumpers. So it used to be difficult in the case of, a, for example, a double dead end like this. If I took this and I just copied it here, so I copied it on the back side, um, but it and, but I, and set it to 180 like that, it used to be difficult to both visually and, elect and electrically say that A was connected to B, but now if I go and I select both of these, I select the first one, I select the second one, I go down to where it says jumpers, I can add a jumper to it by simply saying that I want to have a jumper called, uh, called J1. And I want it to go from um, here to here. So I set the target, and it goes over the top. And if I want to go under the bottom, I can change the, what's called the routing. So rather than 10, degree, 10 inches up, I go 10 inches down here on this end, and 10 inches down on this end. And I can. So I think you can see there how I could actually make it route any way I want. If it's a very, if it's a really drippy thing, I could I could go. And, uh, 20 inches down instead. Oops. 20. Like that. And I can change the offsets. So, minus 5 like that on this direction. And I can go minus 5 like that in this direction. So I can make it look any way I want. In addition to putting jumpers between uh, insulators, I can also... Um, put jumpers to equipment. So if on this pole I were to add a transformer like that, and then I said that this transformer is going to be connected electrically, so I'm going to add a terminal to this, and I need to make sure that the terminal is in the correct position relative to the transformer as constructed. So, like that. And I can say, pick that, and also pick this insulator. Go to my jumper panel again, and say, this is jumper T, jumper term, jumper to transformer one, and this insulator goes to jumper to transformer one, it goes ahead and just like that puts in a, a electrical connectivity between 
that insulator and that transformer. And I can do jumpers to street lights. I can do jumpers to generic equipment. I can do jumpers to transformers, all the things where it electrically makes sense. And so, and if I want to have a three bank or a single three phase transformer or a single three phase capacitor, I can put three terminals on it and I can jumper everybody down. And so now I can actually add jumpers so that all of my electrical connectivity to switches, to transformers, between dead ends, between insulators is correct. And the load is in fact added. It adds no tension load, but obviously it adds wind and wind and weight loads. And so that sort of shows you the power that you have with the new uh, insulator editing co and connectivity tools. Now, interestingly, earlier on, we moved an insulator <coughs> from the cross arm to the pole. And if I do that, if I add it and I say I want to move it here, you notice the jumper went with it. So all of the connectivity is, in fact, totally maintained at all times, and it is actually understood where it is so that if I, for example, later on am doing clearance analysis and I tag this as being a primary in a particular group, the connectivity is maintained and that the, the membership in that group is maintained all the way down the line. So that's the new insulator and jumper tools in OCALC. They're not just available in line design mode, they're available in any mode in OCALC, starting with 6.0.